Joining me today is Lorena from Tefal and she's going to be cooking a delicious pork recipe. You know I like pork. <laughs> oh, we all love pork and this is my favourite pork recipe. Yeah. I like to make this recipe when my friends come over mm -hmm. in my favourite, favourite appliance. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to start off just in, doing a dry rub mm -hmm. for our uh, pork shoulder. It's about 1.2 kilos okay. of pork shoulder there. I'm going to start off with just a little bit of salt mm -hmm. in my bowl Yum. and then a little bit of sugar and then some paprika in there, nice and smoky. Mm. And then of course some cumin. So these flavors are going to just sing when it's all done. Gonna mix that together. This is one of those dishes that is fantastic for entertaining, like you were saying, because it's one big chunk of meat. You can cook it, you can forget about it. And when it's ready, you can either use it for sandwiches or put it through salads right. or eat it with beans and tacos. I mean, the list is endless, isn't it? <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. So this is all nicely mixed together now. And I'm just going to simply pour that over our pork shoulder. And this is a, a dry rub. I'm not going to put oil on it at this point uh, because we're going to put the oil in the um, appliance. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna rub that all beautifully together. Mix yeah. that around. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to please put some oil in there for sure me. You can. Good glug of oil. That's nice and hot now, that bowl. Nice and preheated. That's a big, huge bowl to fit big pork shoulder. So yep. that's gonna go straight <laughs> in there. And you can hear that sizzle. So we're going to brown that on yep. uh, both sides. I'm going to flip that over and get that nice crunchy coat on it. Uh, then we're going to put in our stock and our liquids and just cook it away. Too easy. All right, Justine, that's browned beautifully. Mm -hmm. So now we just need to add our liquid mm -hmm. uh, and our tomato paste. So if you'd like to pop in the tomato paste in there, beautiful. Yeah. And we've got about two cups of beef stock with half a cup of apple cider vinegar. So that's going to go in and deglaze our pot. Should try not to splash you, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's all good. And then this machine's going to cook it all automatically for us and pressurize it, cook it for 55 minutes, and we will have beautiful pulled pork sliders ready to go. Look at that. So it's lovely and juicy. Let me just take that out for you. Mm -hmm. And we can show everyone how easily that just pulls apart. This is uh, why a pressure cooker like this is so exciting because you could honestly cook this and then go and pick up the kids from swimming and know that that would have turned off and just kept warm that whole time. That's Look it. at that, it's still delightfully warm. There's still oh, steam yeah. coming off it. So I don't want to waste this beautiful juice. No. So I'm going to put that over our beautiful pork. And that is just going to be delightful. Yum. It's cooked down quite a lot for two cups of stock. It's um, That's right. reduced enough. It reduces all down. And I'm just going to pull it apart so you can see just oh. how beautifully uh, that's cooked it. And we haven't had to be here at all for it. It's done it all for us. I'm going to have a little taste. Cheating. Delicious. Oh, so good. So I think it's time to make our lovely crunchy coleslaw now, Justine, yep. if you want to help me with that. Sure can. So we've got some lovely shredded carrot and cabbage. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add a little bit of um, sliced apple. apple. And I'll just get that as fine as possible. And this is going to be, add a really lovely crunch to our um, sliders, our pork sliders. Alrighty, Justine, we are all ready to put these together. These okay. are some tortillas that I warmed up earlier. I'm going to take two out. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start piling them up. Delicious. Now I'm just mixing up some classic whole egg mayonnaise with a little bit of lemon for some tang. I'm just going to pour that on. And when you're making this for your friends and family, make the little dressing, have everything chopped up. You know, you can do this on the, in the food processor so it's much easier and you can make lots of it quite fast. And then mix it through at the last minute so everything stays really crunchy. Nice and fresh. <laughs> you see how easy it is to entertain at home? So easy to do. Is that enough pork for you? Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just such a nice combination, as you said, with the crunch of that coleslaw. It's going to be delicious. Oh, Look that's that. perfect. You can see why this is my entertaining go-to. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just really easy. All right, shall we do the fun part now? This is the really fun part. <laughs> I'm going to fold it this way. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy. Mm. You took a bigger mouthful than me, so I'm going to say this two thumbs up. It's just delicious and it's easy to do. And then you know what? There's leftovers, lots of leftovers. Sensational. I'm gonna have two more of these, I think. <laughs>